Hello everyone. Welcome to my next lecture of video series where I'm going to talk about the double circulation. See, double circulation means actually it, the this circulation is composed of two parts. The first one is pulmonary circulation and the second one is systemic circulation. See what happened? I'll just show you an image. Just imagine that this is a heart. So left atrium left ventricle right atrium right ventricle i have already told you i given a code you must remember la left atrium means la is left atrium in uh, you can remember it as a, as a code lung se aata hai so you can see lung se something is coming so remember one more thing remember okay whatever comes inside the heart that will be called as a vein so this is a vein sorry for my writing my writing is not so good and this one is the artery sorry this also is a vein only because it is going inside the heart and you can see this blood vessels coming out of the heart so we can call this one as artery this also can be called as artery now so you can see from the lungs the purified blood is coming and going to the left atrium from left atrium will go to the left ventricle and then this purified blood blood will go full part of the body through aorta remember this one is the aorta and through the body the blood will come back to the right atrium through vena cava and again through the right atrium blood will get collected in the right ventricle and then from the right ventricle the blood will go to the lungs remember this also is a artery since it's coming out of the heart and the name of this artery is pulmonary artery now what an irony is here that this is a pulmonary artery or you can say an artery but it carries the deoxygenated blood or the dirty blood which contains more of co2 so remember all arteries carries the oxygenated blood this one except pulmonary artery which carries the deoxygenated blood in the same way all the veins carries carries deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein which carries the oxygenated blood or the blood having more more of oxygen so i hope you got the you have got the idea that there are why this is called double circulation because at one side you can see there is a pulmonary circulation the circulation inside the lungs while other side we can see there is systemic circulation the circulation inside the body in just the uh, same only you can see from the lungs the oxygenated blood is coming goes to the heart from the heart this oxygenated blood blood goes through the all part of the body gets used up and after getting used up it will come back to the heart through the vena cava and this blood is deoxygenated and again from the heart this deoxygen blood will go to the lungs to get purified so this is the cycle now we will come in little detail form now you can see here as see uh, you can see from the head or the arms the blood will goes to the heart through the superior vena cava it come back to the heart this blood is deoxygenated blood you can see here the blue color one is the deoxygenated and the red color is the oxygenated remember oxygenated blood means having oxygen deoxygenated blood means having no oxygen or less oxygen so from the head and the head and arms the deoxygenated blood will come back to the heart through superior vena cava and you can see through aorta the oxygenated blood will come back to it so same way you can see lungs also uh, lungs you can see lungs will collect the blood from the right ventricle through pulmonary artery make it uh, they will give oxygen make it uh, this thing oxygenated and then give back to the heart through the pulmonary vein same way you can see lower body parts they give their blood to the inferior vena cava to the heart and then they get the blood through the aorta same way kidney sends the blood to the heart through renal vein and then through inferior to the renal vein 
and then through inferior vena cava and then goes to the heart and from the heart this blood will come back through aorta through aorta it will go to the renal artery and then comes to kidney remember renal is called for the kidney only at the name of kidney but one exception is there you can see the stomach and intestines what happens this stomach and intestines they collect the blood from the aorta but they are not sending this blood directly to the heart they are actually they are sending this blood first to the first to the liver and then through the liver this blood will go to the heart then why so why why the stomach and intestines are not directly connected to the heart one reason is there what happens if any toxin toxic substance has been taken inside or if a person has taken some toxic substance it should first get metabolized metabolize so that's why any toxic things entering into the stomach will go to the liver first and then liver will metabolize it and then only it will go to the circulation just think if liver won't have this correction would not have had been there what would happen then if you are taking any drug which is toxic within no time it will spread all over all over our body because the heart is pumping blood to the all part of the body i hope you got this idea then comes the cardiac output cardiac output is the amount of blood pumped by heart per minute so actually the heart beats 72 times uh in a minute so in totally in this one minute how how what is the amount of the blood pumped in liter that is called cardiac output i hope uh, i'll take a pause now i hope this is clear for you now if you are not able to get you can just pause the video and then try to watch it again